Welcome everybody to SLP Blogger Live. It is time to get innovative today with me, Felice, the dabbling speechy. Welcome if you're joining for the replay. I'm going to wait till some people get in here. Um, you can give me some hearts or say hello. You can tell me your name. Um, hope you're having a great Sunday. Today, we are going to talk about five ways to boost your creative juju. That's what I call it. <laughs> hey, Bojo. Um, hello, Katie and Linda. So this, it, I use the term creative juju as a way to describe like when I'm feeling dull or I'm down in the dumps and I can't think of ideas for therapy, um, I always say I need creative juju. And so we're gonna talk about that and how we can boost that up during this crazy time of year when assessments are crazy um, and it's really hard to think creatively when you're like got a to-do list a mile long. So we're going to talk about a couple of ways you can, well more than a couple, five ways you're going to boost your creative juju to get you through the rest of the school year. So I'm going to turn it around real quick, say hi, um, and then we'll get going. Hey, so today is a work day around the house. Yeah, assessments, huh? Oh. Um, don't eat, let's not even talk about that. Let's stay positive, it's Sunday. Um, hey, Marja, I'm gonna see you. I hope you come to my session with Rachel um, from Queen's Speech. We are speaking on Saturday at 3.30. Um, I don't know all the details. I wrote it down and then it's somewhere, but anyways, um, I will, post about it so you guys can find me um so anyway so today's sunday let's try to let's let's think about the positives of creative juju instead of report writing and ieps so i'm gonna put you guys right here so today is a uh <coughs> sorry oops sorry if you saw something oh dear yeah that just brought the trolls okay hopefully this stays i'll lift my top up okay oh dear can't even get down to business. So I wanted to talk about creative juju because when I get like in a funk, I know I need to get like re-inspired because I love my job, but my job is also like most of you guys would agree is um, very uh, overwhelming and it's hard to, s sorry, I'm just going to keep blocking for a little bit. It must be my hairdo today that is bringing them all in. I don't know what SLM is. Oh dear. Sorry people. Sorry all you speeches that really want to hear what I have to say and we can collaborate. Sorry. Okay. Um, hopefully that does it. So anyways, um, so I... Ugh. I can't think, block, and collaborate <laughs> I have to just you can block for yourself Elizabeth but I have to block so that they don't come back on the channel so they could still be on the channel so it's so yeah anyway uh, yeah I'm trying to ignore them but uh, it kind of it makes it hard to see what you guys are writing because I see a line of comments so anyways um, yeah so what I was gonna say is when I get overwhelmed or when things are super busy I know I need to get my creative juices back flowing because if I don't, I'm going to start hating my job and I don't really want to feel that way because I really like being a speech therapist, um, but our jobs are very overwhelming. So I'm going to tell you guys five ways to boost your creative juju and you can pick which ones you want to do and see if they fit um, your style. So let's see. I'm going to go with number one. Um, boo. Oh, it's upside down. You guys can't see it. Okay. The first one is do something you enjoy. Okay. Do something. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Didn't uh, practice that one. Um, do something that you guys enjoy. So I would say don't bring work home unless you absolutely have to. I would try to get your work done at work and then come home and do something that you like to do. Something for yourself. So something that I, and like usually it should be something really fun like a hike or you go, you like to paint 
or you like to sit outside and read or even just like spending some time with your kids at the park. So sometimes when I get home, I will like literally take the kids like get out of the house now, let's go get in the car. And I don't even step in the house really. And we go to the park because I know if I come home, I'm going to check my email. Um, Ooh, I like Manny Petty. Um, and then I'm, or I'm going to do something work related and I'm not going to spend time with my kids or go to the dog beach. Like awesome job. Yeah. Or like working out is also another fun thing to do. But unfortunately, the time that I get to do that is at 5 a.m. in the morning, and I don't consider that something <laughs> enjoyable. Um, so I would say do something you like to do. And usually when I do something I like to do, it creates like new inspiration. So I'll, I'll even go on Pinterest and find a, like a little DIY art project and then try to do that um, when I need a little like calming activity. Or I like to knit. I usually don't do it in the summertime, but I do it in the wintertime. Or photography yeah anything it's like anything that you enjoy to do that brings purpose to your life um, I, I like to journal and write prayers to God and that's something that I like to do it's it clears my mind it gives me purpose um, so do anything you like to do and what's gonna be interesting is once you clear up you do that thing that you like to do you'll feel like you still have a part of yourself instead of your giving all day to everybody else you get to kind of retrieve that part of you that you felt like you gave away so it re it rejuvenates your body all right next one so this is upside down or backwards but break your routine so this is kind of like borderline like take risks um or break your routine so if you're following your schedule to the t every single week you know try to find a way we can read them it reads fine here. I don't know what that, I don't, I didn't see the comment. Um, oh, you can see him. Okay, good. That's good. From my end, it says that I did it. It's backwards. Um, the post it. Yeah. Break your routine. So try to mix it up a little bit. And I usually can mix it up on my assessment days and I try to create something different. And the way that I break my routine in therapy is I try to mix up different groups where maybe we go like a couple of my groups I take outside, a couple of my groups I stay inside, and then I rotate throughout the week and change it up that way. So last week um, we did my nature walk and I had the kids in pairs so they had to work on the speaking and listening standards and there was only one pencil for the group and there was one person that was holding the paper so they had to talk to each other and we walked around the campus and we worked on finding things with the nature walk bingo card that I had so that was how I broke my routine last week um, and it was really nice getting out and about and it was really cool because then I saw teachers that um, were like what are you doing and I was like I'm working on listening and speaking or speaking and listening standards and then it kind of, it, people were able to see me. I was visible. They knew I existed and I got some sunshine and I kind of, I came up with some new ideas like, oh, I could do hopscotch this week or I could do bubbles outside, you know, so it gives you different ideas and a different way of seeing things. So I would try to break up your routine either by getting outside. Um, maybe you could join two big groups together and do like a project and have the big kids who are working on their Arctic sounds be like the buddies for the little guys. Or you could do a four weeks push in series. So it's not all year long, but it's like once a week uh, for four weeks and you could have a specific topic and you could pick a teacher you like. So that could be a way to switch it up, to learn some new skills, to try a new program out. Bam, creative juju. All right, I did this a couple years ago. You can plan a make and take. So, um, what I did with some of my speech friends, I sent out like a mass email and I said, everybody get your favorite TPT product that you have not, um, or anything that you find on Pinterest that you have, it's in a pile or you have it like on your list that you want to prep and you just don't have time. And instead of going to our speech department meeting, we, or in, instead of having our speech department meeting, we all met at a school and I brought bagels and, and coffee and we all brought laminators, laminating sheets, all of our stuff, and we just laminated. And then it was a time for us to catch up. We could all relate to each other and talk about the craziness that goes on with our jobs. So then you don't feel alone and you feel like, well, if Susie's able to do it, I can do it. Or then we find out who's been doing what. We can help each other with like picking new goals. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. 
So I did it, I haven't done it this year, but I would if we could get more aligned with our schedules. Um, so that was fun. Okay, brainstorm. So what I like to do to get my creative juju going is I will pick a therapy item. My I okay. Um, I will pick an item like a therapy item that I have and I will try to chunk out like 10 or 15 minutes where I can think of 10 different ways that I could use this 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 item and or I think about or I'll look at the speaking and listening standards for a certain r range of grade levels and I will think about okay how could I use this therapy item to align with the common course standards or to align with five of my students goals so that way if I pull that one therapy item I will have therapy for the whole group um, and I also it's like what else do I do like to do for brain what else do you guys like to do for brainstorming that's I mean that's kind of how or I'll pick a theme and then I will almost do like like a web and if I want to do spring or a picnic theme then I will think about all the different ways I can do therapy for the that theme and that and having a theme helps like channel my brain so I'm not um, like getting stuck or going off in tangents speaking and listening standards are the for common core um, yeah, I teach, well, geez Louise, I'm not answering that. Ah! Sorry, guys. Okay, last one. Let's get to it. Jeez. It's like, I'm not answering that question. All right, collaborate. So if you're on this Periscope right now, you are already halfway there to getting some boosted creative juju. So Periscope is a great way to collaborate because especially on the SLP Blogger Live, there's 10 different Periscope people here. Um, there's tons of other SLPs at Periscope that aren't on the SLP Blogger channel. And if you tune in, you can see that like live, you can ask questions and you can collaborate with someone else around the country um, that's in your niche. And so the other way that I like to collaborate um, I like to e I like to mass email all the peeps in my school district and be like, hey, I need help with this, and 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 vice versa, and then they answer our questions. The other way I collaborate is I like to go into the classroom sometimes, occasionally, and I will look in and see um, see what the teacher's doing or ask them what themes they're working on so that way I can align my therapy to the similar theme. So I'm doing flowers this week. And, um, well, I've been doing flowers all month, but I mean, I was able to collaborate with the first grade teacher just like in passing, like, hey, what are you guys doing? And they're doing flowers too, so it's really awesome. So the other way I like to collaborate, if you don't always have time to collaborate with people in your district, um, get on a Facebook group. There's like a ton of Facebook groups that are for speech therapists and you can ask questions, you can ask for therapy ideas and plenty of yeah, I mean, I love, I, actually, I've been tuning in a lot more to Periscopes from, like, Sublime Speech, Crazy Speech World, Hallie from Speech Time Fun, and everybody on the, and then Desiree's been really awesome, and they give me, yeah, I'm like, and every week I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't know about that app or that therapy item, and it made therapy planning um, a lot easier because they, great minds, like, bring more to the table. Um yeah, or you can tune into my, my dollar store periscopes. <laughs> You'll get lots of creative juju that way. So those are my five tips. I have more, so maybe next week. Um, let's see. What groups do you recommend? There's a speech th therapy group for school-age children. I know there's speech pathologists at large. Um, I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> oh, you bought the big bets? The big bets yesterday that I showed. I'm like, bug nets. Oh, yeah. And I got that idea from Tina. I got that idea from Desiree. Like, I would never have thought to use a bug insect net and stick pool, pool noodles on it that she cut up. But I was like, this is genius. So, um, and yeah, so I love, and then I love, um, you can, the other, oh, wait, the other way, before I go, the other way that I like to collaborate is I like to look for hashtags on Instagram. So I will do the famous SL peeps 
hashtag SL peeps and I will just search and then I will kind of scroll down and see what people are posting because some speech therapists post what they did for that week. So Jen from Crazy Speech World posted a picture of all this like rainforest stuff with a link to her blog post. And I was like, that looks like a really cool theme. So I clicked. But if it's something that I don't want to know about or it's like not catching my interest right now, then I don't click. But what's really cool is like if you check periodically for the hashtag SL peeps, people are posting theme therapy. They're posting spring therapy ideas. We're in spring. So they're posting things that they're doing and you can quickly get ideas, get in and get out and have your therapy planned for the week. And so I do feel like taking a little bit of time to brainstorm and plan helps make therapy go smoother because you're not running around like a crazy person going, ha, ah, okay, we're going to do this, you know? So that's, that's what I do do. And I think you do need to plan it out. So those are my quick tips. I have other quick tips, but I'll save them for next time. So, um, we'll talk about creative juju part two. So I hope that you guys are going to start using the term creative juju all the time when you're talking to people and then say that I taught you that word. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. See you later. Thanks Sooners. All right. It's been swell. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.